when was the last time you guys that I had to do an intro from my car? What's up guys? Happy Monday. I hope everyone is having a fabulous start to their week. My name is Kira if you are new and today I'm sharing with you a grocery haul and meal plan just like I do every Monday here on the channel. Now this week I did two separate grocery pickups. I did one for Target because I had a gift card and let me tell you I never have a problem when I do Target's grocery pickup. They are spot on and perfect literally every time. So I've never had an issue with them. And then yesterday I did a Walmart grocery pickup where I definitely had some snafus. Like I even had to settle down a little bit. I didn't film my intro yesterday because I was still a little bit heated. So I kind of needed things to fizzle out and I feel better about it today because it's the start of a brand new week so we're just going to paint a smile on and we're going to let the negatives fall to the wayside but I didn't have the best interaction with the gentleman who brought out my groceries so Walmart is doing something new which is fantastic they'll send you a push notification on your phone if you went through the app and it'll let you approve your substitutions ahead of time which I really do find fantastic fantastic because it eliminates the conversation that you need to have with the person who brings out your groceries at the window because usually that's a discussion you have with them whether or not you approve or disapprove of their substitution so I love that you can set that up ahead of time now but it didn't show me my out of stock items until I got to pick my groceries up and then I noticed my out of stock items were things like mozzarella cheese, blackberries, cucumbers, wings, things that really surprised me that they wouldn't have any of in the store because that's one thing I love about Walmart's grocery pickup is the prices aren't different inside of the store. They're the same in the store as they are on the app. If they don't have the item, they upgrade you for the same price and there's no fee and it's so it's free to use. So for me, it's just my favorite it, like go to pickup service but I've never had so many things that I didn't I would assume they would have a substitution for so I asked him he came to the window and he said hi how are you we verified my name and then he said did you get a chance to view your substitutions and your out of stock items I said yep I already approved my substitutions I'm just curious when I look at my out of stock items like they, it says there's no wings, there's no cheese, there's no cucumbers. Like, are there none of those kinds in the store at all? And then he didn't answer me. He just kind of walked away. He opened my trunk and he started almost forcefully throwing my groceries into the car. Like I have a long van and all of my seats are down right now because we were moving stuff. So one of the items like rolled up as far as to where I could touch it from the driver's seat because he was kind of putting them in forcefully. So it even surprised me. Like I turned around and I said, are you serious? Like you're not gonna answer me and you're gonna throw the groceries in the trunk? And he still didn't say anything. He just kept loading up all of the stuff. And I would have assumed like maybe he didn't speak English or something, but we just had a conversation. So I was a little surprised by that. Definitely a little taken back. I did end up calling management on the inside because I, I just wanted to know if there was any way I could still get those items in another form if they were still in the store because I needed them. And that's the whole point of grocery pickup is you don't want to go somewhere else if you, you know, if you don't have to. So it was a little bit of like an off-putting situation, but I feel better about it today. It is what it is. I still enjoy their service and I'm not going to let one bad time sour me from going, you know, all of the time. Now on a complete side note, you guys, if I'm a little radio silent that you're seeing anywhere for, or if I'm not posting as often as I usually do, we have a lot of noise going on in our house right now. So I'm kind of finding it hard to film because we're having some projects done. There's like sawzalls right now going on in my house hammering and nails and all sorts of things. We're having an attic staircase put in so that we can utilize proper storage and our garage isn't a chaotic mess. So there's just a lot going on inside and it's kind of hard for me to film when there's so much noise you can't even hear yourself think, let alone turn on the camera. So just be patient with me over the next month. We're 
put away Christmas and now we're finally transitioning into the new house and we're just, you know, trying to get ourselves set up. So I appreciate you guys so much. I know you understand, but I just figured I would shout out that and let you know because that's why I'm sitting in my car right now to do an intro because I can't even film inside. You wouldn't even be able to hear me. It's so loud. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Again, I know you understand, but it was easier for me just to kind of give you guys a shout and let you know, hey, that's where I've been if I've been a little silent because it is crazy up in this house right now. But I cannot wait to show you and I will show you these things as they are unfolding. But all right, we've talked enough. Let's talk some groceries. That's why you're here, right? So let's go to the kitchen. Let's go to the counter. I'll roll you into the Target pickup, the Walmart grocery pickup, and then we'll get into this week's meal plan. All right, you guys. So I have a quick little Target grocery pickup. Now I did mention to you guys that I wouldn't really be going in the store. So I'm kind of sad, like no dollar spot, little awesome finds that I will definitely miss. But for right now, we're just going to stick with the drive up. So I had a $50 gift card that I was given for Christmas and I spent $50 and 38 cents. So whoop, whoop, go me. I think I did pretty good for my 50 bucks. So one thing that I did pick up is some of this Purina kit and chow the nurture i wanted the blue buffalo of the smaller bag but they didn't have it and they gave me this option and so i just ended up taking it because oliver is a pig you guys like he eats one can of food and then he eats one cup of kitten food that i divide three times like a third a third a third plus his half a can of two separate times of wet food so he is ridiculously hungry so i just went ahead and got the kitten chow that they did have of the size bag to feed him um i did go ahead and pick up this room essentials microfiber sheet set in the king size that's the size of our bed and in this color gray i had a company send me these really amazing silk pillowcases but they sent me them you know in the color that I chose which was gray but I don't have any gray sheets my blanket is gray and our like throw pillows are cream so I was gonna get cream sheets and kind of do like a back and forth but I decided to go with this so that it's gonna be like you know all different shades of gray no pun or pun intended but I still love that look and that color and I think it's gonna go good with the bedroom set that we're looking into so I went ahead and picked this up so that I have something that will contrast with those pillowcases that they sent me. I did go ahead and pick up this French vanilla single serve coffee pods for Daryl. There's 12 in here and it's just the Market Pantry, which is Target's brand. I usually get the crazy pods from, is it crazy cups? Crazy? I don't know. I'll, I'll pop it up on the screen, but I usually get these pods for Daryl off of Amazon and right now, I think he has like two and that's not going to work because it usually takes about 48 hours and sometimes longer right now with everything going on. Like I just don't rely on shipping. Um, so I picked this up for him just so that he doesn't run out of his favorite coffee. Uh, my Amazon store is linked down below if you guys want to go and check out all the different coffee collections that I have in there. But we order most of our coffee pods from Amazon because they're a heck of a lot cheaper and the variety is amazing. But this was $3.99, I think. So that was perfect just to kind of hold him over. I did get salted butter. We only have a one more pound in the freezer and it's probably going to be a good two and a half weeks still until I go to a bulk store when I go to Costco. So for now, I just picked up one of the Good and Gather. That's also a Target brand of their salted butter, the four sticks for one pound to throw in the freezer to hold me over. Speaking of holding me over, we're also almost out of ketchup, which is like blasphemy in this house, but it's something that I only like to buy in bulk. So hopefully this will last us until then. I think it should, but fingers crossed. Uh, Market Pantry brand also of the butter flavored syrup. Again, this was just to hold us over. The like real organic Vermont maple syrup was insanely priced in Target for a very small bottle. And in Costco, I think for the same price, I can get triple the size. So I just got this to hold us over until we go there. Uh, again, with the Good and Gather brand of just string cheese, my kids have a tendency to use this as a go-to snack, which I absolutely love. 
Can we just comment really quick on the bags that they use for their drive up? Like they put my two little cold items in this tiny bag and then everything else went in these big diesel bags. Like I love them. I want to save them. I feel like I can use them for tons of things. Um, and then the last thing I ordered was these towels. So these towels were on the like target circle on sale for $2. Now, are they like great towels? No, they're definitely not. Like these aren't gonna last very long, but my kids only have those like tchotchke, SpongeBob, Minnie Mouse, like those kinds of towels. And yes, they are still young, but older boys use that bathroom. Paul uses that bathroom, Jacob uses that bathroom. So I just wanted to be able to have more like versatile towels to have in that quote unquote guest bathroom. Well. I guess the bathroom down here, the half bath is more of a guess, but every bathroom all has the same color. The whole house has this gray colored granite. So I just feel like anything gray tone just really fits in with the theme of this house. So I went ahead and got these, four of them, eight bucks. I don't think you could go wrong. So that was it, you guys, $50.38. And I talked for six minutes. I don't know why you guys are always here, but you love me and I love you too. So thank you. All right, you guys, so here is your quick overview of haul number two. And I have to say that stepping back and looking at this, I spent roughly the same amount here that I did at Trader Joe's and the table was way more filled with food from Trader Joe's. I did get a lot of specialty items, but I still feel like this was still not a whole lot for my money, but I got what I needed, so that's good. Well, for the most part, anyway. I did go ahead and get the great value hickory smoked thick cut bacon. I need this for two separate recipes this week, and so I got that. I got the two pound package of strawberries for the kids for fruit, and then I'm gonna dip some and show you how to make it football themed for Super Bowl, so grabbed that grabbed some broccoli. The kids love to pick on this fresh and cooked, so I grabbed that. Here's one of my substitutions. Again, no Wild Wonder tomatoes, but they did have the regular cherub tomatoes, and they gave me the larger size for the same price, so I got that. And then look, you guys, foodsters. So if you've been with me for at least over a year or so, you would know that for a while we were getting these kits all of the time at Costco. I had found a pumpkin, chocolate chip pumpkin bread. That was the Foodsters brand. It's what they call junk free bakery. So it's a organic company that just has really good healthy ingredients, especially if you're going to cheat and do something sweet. So they were out of stock forever. Every Walmart, every everywhere, I've only seen Foodsters sold at Walmart or that big kit that I saw at Costco. So otherwise, I've never seen it sold anywhere else. And forever, the app had it always sold out. But this time, they had some back in stock. So I grabbed the chocolate chippy cook cookie mix and we'll just use this for a rainy day because it's literally rained every single day here in Texas for the last week. So it'll be something for my kids and I to do just to have a fun little treat day. I did see that they had my Snack Factory Everything Pretzel Crisps, which is gonna be awesome because I'm sharing with you guys a brownie batter dip that's gonna be in the shape of a football in the Super Bowl recipe video, like a dessert. And I feel like I love the sweet and salty. So I think these Everything Pretzels are gonna be really good with that dark chocolate brownie dip. So I got that. And then I also got some pretzel rods. These were super cheap, like a dollar nine or something. But I grabbed those to also dunk in chocolate to share with you guys how to make that football themed as well if you guys want to use that for an idea for a Super Bowl. I went ahead and got the Great Value variety pack of chips. We haven't had a whole lot of chips in the house lately and the kids just like this when I do their lunches. So this has four of the like Cheetos, three of the Cool Ranch Doritos, three of the Nacho Cheese Doritos, two chili cheese corn chips, three sour cream and onion potato chips, and three barbecue chips. So it's a pretty good price. It's like $5.96 for 18 bags. So I always think that's a good deal. So I went ahead and grabbed that. All right, I picked this up, and I have not picked this up in a really long time, but we haven't been buying snacks very often. So we had a whole bunch left over from the holiday season. So pretty much the last few grocery hauls, I've barely bought anything like that. So we're kind of depleted. 
And this is such a good deal in my opinion. It's six dollars for 30 snack packs and you get 10 shortbread alphabet cookies and then 10 packs of little chocolate chip cookies and 10 of the iced oatmeal. And I bought this a long time ago and I shared it in a grocery haul. And if you guys remember, comment down below. But for the longest time, you guys were writing me saying that you went onto your app to put this in the cart and there was some kind of glitch. And it was like $300 or something on the app for this like box of cookies. I don't know if you guys remember, comment down below. But it was really funny for the longest time. Nobody could get these on the app because it was some ridiculous price. So I saw this and it was the normal price that it was. So I went ahead and threw that in my cart. And I think the kids will be excited to see that. I put just regular organic beef broth, but they substituted me the bone broth, which was fine. No big deal. We'll use that. I actually like the bone broth as well. And then I got one thing of organic chicken broth. I do have some that I've made myself, but for chicken soup, I just need like one big thing. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I got some pepperoncinis, of course, for Mississippi chicken. And then I got some banana pepper rings, and that's going to be alongside of the French dip sandwiches that we are making. Um, we went over the broccoli. This was another substitution. I have some lettuce left over, so I just got like one, the individual bunch of romaine. Like it's just one nice size head. They didn't have it, so they substituted me the three pack, which is fine. Same price. I paid a dollar seventy four for the three pack, but I hope it just doesn't go to waste because we still have some lettuce. We're gonna have to eat lots of salads this week coming up. Uh, one thing of organic green onions, just a couple of creamers. So I got one peppermint mocha i just want to make sure that doesn't disappear with the season because we have a lot of flavors that just go well with that uh one a white chocolate raspberry because that's paul's favorite and then back there is my hubby's favorite he just likes the plain old great value french vanilla and i got him the half gallon so he can take the individual one that we still have here into his office and then i did get one half gallon thing of the low fat cultured buttermilk i need that to make a fried chicken recipe recipe as well as a ranch dressing so our refrigerator door little shelf barrier you know how refrigerator doors have the little bar that goes across that holds the condiments in well my husband opened the refrigerator the other day and it gave way and my giant ball jar of ranch dressing hit the floor cracked and we lost all of our ranch so I went and got buttermilk so that I can make that all right let's stroll all the way back to the front I got some provolone cheese for the french dip sandwiches I ended up using Using the one that I had on hand for an Italian hoagie dip that I've already made you guys that will be in Friday's Super Bowl appetizer recipe video it is absolutely to die for but now we need some more for the rest of the recipes we're making this week so I got that I got a two pack of cream cheese we're completely out and that needs to hold me over till I go to Costco I had put in the bigger container of the ricotta cheese and they did not have it so I got two of the 15 ounce containers instead which is fine I got some of the Frigo crumbled blue cheese that is just for us to eat on for salads and I do use a half a cup out of each container to make a ball jar of blue cheese dressing as well so grabbed that grabbed a container of sour cream we still have one but any overages of sour cream is going to get killed on Super Bowl between dips and side dishes and stuff so I'm just gonna keep picking up one every time I go to the store until then I did get this a good humor box of ice cream just to kind of switch it up for the kids in all the bulk stores they have the same box of ice cream every time which it's the better deal it's 40 ice cream sticks for like $15 this was 10 for 14 definitely not comparison in price but I want to switch it up because it's still under a dollar a bar and this is called the good humor variety pack it says 14 ice cream truck favorites so it's the chocolate chip witch sandwiches the strawberry shortcake and then the vanilla king cone so I just thought that was kind of different my kids always get the sandwiches with the regular ice cream cones and the regular cones and that's the ones that they eat all the time so I just thought it would be fun to kind of switch it up for them a little bit all right, now we're gonna kind of get into this row that looks like a hot mess of sugar, right? But here are the Valentine's Day items that I mentioned to you guys that I wanted to pick up now before they weren't there. And this way I have everything I need to start my envelopes for the kids for February 1st. So 
it was essential for me to go ahead and pick this stuff up. So I did get these Snickers minis. I will use these for the kids envelopes, like anything extra that I have left over. But this actually goes into that brownie batter dip that I'm making to share with you guys. So I picked that up for that. And then these 27 pieces I will use for the kids envelopes. And this has M&Ms, Twix, and Snickers. And I even can write my message if I wanted to right on the package of like the M&Ms or something for the kids. So I grabbed that. And then for the guys, instead of getting like just a big candy heart of something like one of them likes peppermint, one of them likes peanut butter. Like sometimes I would just get like the Valentine's Day hearts, but I thought it would be better to just get one of these bags because this speaks more to like some of the things that they love. So they both love the Dove chocolate. And this one says midnight fudge cookie. And my husband's definitely like a snacker at night. He'll, he prefers like a couple pieces of chocolate before bed. So this made me think of him, the midnight fudge cookie. And I think he'll really like that. So this is just going to be his chocolate for Valentine's Day. I'll throw a little uh, scratch off ticket on top of it or something. We don't do really anything for ourselves for the holiday like that. And then this I thought Paul would like. This is just peanut butter and milk chocolate. Also Dove, but he's a big peanut butter guy. So I went ahead and got that one for him. So that will be what's set out for the big guys for, I was about to say Halloween. Oh my goodness, Valentine's Day. Uh, this I saw, and wow, it's amazing how deceiving things are when you're purchasing online. This looked huge to me. And then when I got it, I was like, whoa, that is super, super small. But it's called a treasure surprise, and it says collect all five. And it almost looks like a little mini egg carton. Oh, no, it doesn't. It looks like a mini treasure chest. That's why it says treasure surprise. Hello, Kira. Okay. Um, and then inside of it, it has Hershey Kisses and then a little mini My Little Pony. It was only $2, so I just thought it would be cute to you know give that to Maya with her little candy and then I was trying to find one for Mason but they didn't really have one for him so he was sitting next to me when I was placing the order and I was like hey you still like PJ masks he's like yeah I still love PJ masks I mean it's not like he watches it anymore but uh, I think he'll still enjoy this again only two dollars and it's a milk chocolate egg and inside of it has a PJ mask figure also two dollars so I just wanted to get one that he was even Here's the Gear Deli Dark Chocolate Melting Wafers. That's what I'm going to use to dip the chocolate covered strawberries and the pretzel sticks and things like that. Uh, I picked up three of these. They are, this says heart sugar cookie. It's not exactly what I ordered. The one I wanted was supposed to be chocolate chip, but it says be mine on it. And I got three of them, like one to give each kid on Valentine's Day morning. Here is a big thing of, well, it's not big, but I think this was the larger one, of the Jet Puffed Marshmallow Cream. I need that for that brownie batter dip. Here is two um, chocolate hearts. And so that one is for Maya. It's the Kit Kat, Reese's, and Hershey's assortment. I thought that one would be better for her. Neither one of my kids, besides Jake, have a favorite candy. Jake likes a lot of gummy stuff. Otherwise, Mason and Maya are like, eh, whatever. It's if it tastes good, we'll eat it. So I got the assortment for her. I thought she would really like it. And then again, Mason was sitting right by me. So I'm like, bud, what candy do you like? like what's your favorite? And after a bunch of back and forth, he finally said, well, I really like peanut butter cups. So I got him the football shaped Reese's peanut butter cup heart. So those are the two candies for the little ones. So they'll each just get their candy, a cookie, this little thing. And then I'll probably just get them like a $10 gift card or something. We're not going to go crazy this Valentine's Day. I feel like we're still recouping from Christmas. Uh, I went ahead and got these for Jake. I'm a little disappointed. They're not exactly what I thought they were. So he really loves the Sour Patch Kids and these are conversation hearts. So of course you kind of want to get conversation hearts for Valentine's Day, right? That's like the cutesy thing we've been getting our whole lives, but these aren't the regular ones. These are Sour Patch but they're still like hard candy, Sour Patch Kid flavor. I thought they were Sour Patch Kids in the shape of hearts. Like that said it, like the same texture and consistency. I think these are more like hard candy, just Sour Patch flavor. So I, I think he'll still like them. It's just not exactly what I envisioned for him, but that was his piece of candy and the little kids will share chocolate with him. Plus they'll each get some piece of candy every day in their envelope. 
And here's another one of the things that they'll get inside of their envelope. So these are Jolly Rancher lollipops. And I think all the kids are going to like them because there's cherry, pink lemonade, green apple, and watermelon. I think Jake will like the pink lemonade and the watermelon. Maya uh, will eat the cherry and Mason will eat the green apple. Either one of them will eat those other two flavors. So that'll be something I can put in their little um, envelope. And then this is something I can put in their little envelope as well. Uh, these are the Trolley brand, which my kids really like that. Like I said, they like their gummies. And these are Sour Bright Crawlers in the minis. And there's 20 little packages in there. It's meant to be like for a Valentine exchange. You can write your to and from on it. So I thought that would be cute to be something that drops into their envelope. And then are you like a Ferrero... Rocher chocolate person because that's always been my favorite chocolate like if I were to do a stocking stuffer for my mom she would always get them for me it's just always been something that I've eaten well now they have a brand new one this is their signature golden gallery and look at all the different kinds that there are and this was only five dollars and so I grabbed it and I'm giving this to my husband to give to me he must love me because I shop for him I make his life easier but this one says dark opera and it's fine dark chocolate with hazelnut and cocoa filling and then this one is a fine white chocolate with almonds fine milk chocolate with a rich caramel filling fine white chocolate with hazelnuts fine milk chocolate with hazelnuts and then fine milk chocolate with hazelnut pieces I don't even know it all sounds amazing I can't wait to give them a try I shouldn't be eating it my big butt don't need it but it's Valentine's Day and yeah I like it so I'm excited I want to give it a try uh, I got some vanilla frosting. I need that for the everything, <laughs> for the pretzel rods, for the strawberries, for that brownie batter dip. So I got that. And then I got the chocolate sprinkles. Like these are the ones Mr. Softy puts on your soft ice cream. This is the only sprinkles that I like. I like no other sprinkles, just these. And it says that you can top the dip with either sprinkles or Oreo cookie crumbs. I'm not really one for Oreos. I never eat sprinkles. I bought the chocolate ones. I can't wait to try it. So got that. And then these things are pretty pricey. It's definitely what helped jack the price up. This was $10 alone, but this is washing machine or cleaner recommended for like front loading machines. There is five tablets in here and you're supposed to use it once a month. So, I mean, this will last half a year, which is so great for the 10 bucks, but I have mentioned to you guys that I definitely need to either change the rubber seal or get a good washing machine or cleaner. I bought these secondhand and I did give it a good clean, but I feel like it just needs something else to have it fresh and clean starting over. So I got that. And then everybody always talks about these Lemmy Shines and my store never had them in stock. And then this time they did, so I grabbed it. So this is the Lemmy Shine dishwasher cleaner. It says removes buildup and deodorizes, which is like, you know, the same concept of that, which is why I wanted that. And then this one is for your just disposal so everything's gonna get a good clean in my next clean with me video you guys stay tuned for that that will be I'll show how to use all of that in my next clean with me because we're gonna get down and dirty and then two meals for Jake this is the fried chicken buffalo style mac and cheese bowl he absolutely loves that and then he hasn't had the country fried chicken one in a while this is like the KFC bowl from Kentucky Fried Chicken that has the mashed potatoes with the fried chicken and stuff. I haven't gotten that one in a while. I usually get a pasta based one. So I grabbed those. And then the last few things are just these two drinks. So a couple of weeks ago, I put two things of Gatorade in my cart, but they only had one. So we still have a few, but we're running low. So I grabbed another pack of Gatorade. Last time we got orange. So this time I just got blue. And then we are still working off that soda pack that I got from Sam's Club three weeks ago because we're just not big huge soda drinkers. But I figured since we are running a little low in our drink, coolers that I would you know grab a couple of drinks and decide to switch it up this time and get Dr. Thunder. I was not paying five dollars for a 12 pack of soda which I think is ridiculous so I did not get the regular Dr. Pepper. Daryl likes the occasional Dr. Thunder so that's what I got for him. All right you guys that is it. That was two grocery hauls and a ton of money. Let's get into the meal plan. All right, you guys, so here is the meal plan for Monday, January 25th through Sunday, January 31st. So it's our very last week of the month, 
And for all of my Frenchies out there, like the ones who are French, who love them some French food, I did not realize this, but this is like a salute to the French because half of my meals this week are have French in the title. So um, for today, we're gonna do a French dip sandwiches. I have that shaved steak from Trader Joe's and I have those ciabatta bread from Aldi and the provolone and I have really good gravy. So we're gonna go ahead and do French dips and then I'm gonna make the buffalo potato skins that are in my new cookbook so that I can go ahead and film them for that Super Bowl recipe that you guys are gonna see on Friday. So we'll have the French dip with the buffalo skins. And then on Tuesday, we're gonna have a French onion chicken. Now I have a entire recipe video on how to make the French onion chicken, which is super easy and it's phenomenal. So I went ahead and put that on the menu for Tuesday and then I wrote rice. And I think I'm gonna do homemade rice a -roni. Now I have a entire cooking video on how I make my rice a -roni as well, but that's more for like the chicken kind of rice a -roni. I think I wanna do more of like a creamy Parmesan. I do that creamy garlic Parmesan orzo. So I think I wanna do the exact same thing, but instead of the orzo, I'm gonna do it over rice, just so that we can kind of switch up how we normally do things. So French onion chicken, Parmesan garlic, homemade rice aroni. And then on Wednesday, I'm gonna throw some stew meat in the crock pot all day. And then I'm gonna pull out the veggies and the stew meat and everything and whip up some pot pies. Like that's definitely a gold star in adulting right there because I know hubby is gonna love himself some pot pies. And then after we're done eating, there's always extra pieces that I end up just throwing in the freezer for like on a night when he works late and he's coming home and he just wants something different, he can just take a piece out of the freezer and go ahead and stick it right in the oven until it's ready. So that's what we're gonna have on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, it's my mom's birthday. So happy birthday, mom. I love you to pieces. I wish that we were together, of course, but obviously that's just not happening these days so on that day we're going to go ahead and do mississippi chicken i said last week that that would be on the menu for this week i got my pepperoncinis i have my ranch dressing my gravy mix and we're ready to rock and roll so we're going to do that with a mashed potatoes and then on Friday, you guys, that's when I'm going to share with you that Super Bowl video, like I said. So I just put one of my new stickers from Gail. I put the chocolate because I'm sharing with you guys that chocolate brownie batter dip. I can't wait to share this recipe video with you guys because there's so many good recipes in there that I'm dying to share. So on that day, I'm going to make a big pot of meat sauce. I never made that big pot a couple of weeks ago for Daryl's birthday. We just ended up being super crunched for time. So I just found some smaller sauce cans in my pantry and I just whipped up a really small batch just for that day. So now it's time to go ahead and make that big pot that I hadn't made yet. So I have a recipe video for my meat sauce. So I'll link that for you. And I also have a recipe video for a big CD because I will go ahead and make a big pot of meat sauce and then I'll make a tray of a baked ziti. And again, you guys, I put leftovers on the menu, but we have just been so busy and eating late and stuff that sometimes I'll make dinner and we all pick a little bit and then half of it goes in the refrigerator because we're all just so busy and we're moving so fast and trying to get so much stuff done Then I just figured leftovers on the menu for one day a week would be smart, especially towards the end of the week where we can use it as a way to clean out the fridge and stuff and get ready to prepare for the next week. And that's why I put something simple like bread breakfast on the menu for Sunday and I'm gonna do crunchy French toast. Marissa gave me a box of frosted flakes that she had purchased from the store that her family does not like. So she gave it to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and crunch up all of those frosted flakes and then use it to make that crunchy French toast. And by then, hopefully I will have already gone to Costco. So I'll have bacon again to make with breakfast and I'll have the last batch of hash browns. I never made those last time so I still have those to cook up and some fruit of course because we have tons of fruit but that is it you guys for this super long-winded two-part grocery haul and meal plan I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you are new and you made it all the way to the end I hope that means that you enjoyed and you'll consider subscribing and sticking around as I do share a grocery haul and meal plan every Monday here on the channel I love you guys so so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.